Okay then, if I remember correctly, yeah. By the way, something that I should discuss about the bonus dungeons, I might have discussed it before, but I can't remember, so I'll say it anyway. Something to take note of is the fact that the bonus dungeons are all pseudo-random generated. By which I mean, the maps are always the same. You can get to all the treasure by following the instructions I show here. However, the thing to remember is that the enemies are not. The enemies, there's like a handful of arrangements of enemies for each bonus dungeon, and you pretty much have to, you know, deal with them as they come. In some cases, that can turn out well. One of the random, or one of the arrangements in the first uh, bonus dungeon we went into there happens to have the cheapest and quickest way to make money in this game. It's pretty easy to tell, I think I've discussed it before, but basically, in the first, in the open, like, if you take the elevator down, there's a hallway forward. If there is a flamethrower-wielding reaver bot there, um, you've got the right combination, then it's just following a certain path. Um, wow, I cannot remember how you're supposed to get to that thing. But it's a giant yellow bird. I think one of them potentially can pop up in this place, too, I just don't know what the proper combination of enemies is to get it to pop up, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's get off in the distance. Yep. You! Okay. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alrighty. Hey! Blue cube! Yes! I'd rather have a red cube, but I don't think that's quite as necessary for me right now. Now then, let's see. Continue on this way, and we'll end up somewhere else. Yep, there it is. The most money-giving enemy in the entire game. Furthermore, it's cheap to kill. You knock it down, you... You're supposed to instantly... To Ow. Oh, okay, that's right. You have to... Oh, get back here. My money, damn it. Let me no die. I don't even know what you are, but you need to die. Oh wait, so I don't think I can kill that thing. Also, I just realized I'm very low on health. I need to fix that. Oh uh, no. There we go. Picnic lunch. I'll just have to pick up another one when we get back to the ship. Um, let's see. Okay, we can go that way, or I think there's a second way out of this room. Yeah. Oh, there are three ways. Crap. Um. Crap. Okay, I think this is the way we want to go first for treasure. Or is it the other? Because one of them leads to a complete and total lack of treasure. Hey, there we go. Like, usually they take up the whole hallway when they do that. Let's see, this one leads... Okay, no, I think this one leads to the boss fight of this dungeon. Yep. Ow. Yeah, remember the class has to jam those guys? Meet their bigger, tougher, but... You know, not as tough as I am tougher than they were in this. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're tougher than they were in the Class S exam, because you notice they're red instead of green. But at the end of the day, I am much more, I'm much tougher than I was in the Class S exam. So, and I'm much tougher more than they're much tougher. So, therefore, this is easy as hell. I feel particularly tough in the Class S exam. It's just that, you know, that time when it really screwed you over. A time limit and a really low life bar. There you go. Yeah, that, that was an epic boss fight, wasn't it? Okay, how about we first grab some money, since they didn't drop any, but hey, who needs to drop any when you can find holes in the wall with 12,000 zenny in the boss room, right? Let's see, and then we got this one as, eh, not as good as a 12,000 zenny one, but it's still pretty epic. And then, finally, the ends of the dungeon! Huzzahs! Yep, Refractor A, even though we already found Refractor B. I don't know why they put them out of water in this game, they're crazy like that. Okay then, out of this room, and then I think of, and I think I know which one is the last area to have treasure, which it's an important treasure, we need it to make something. I can't remember if it's something good, but we need it to make something. Woohoo! Yeah, the dash boots don't exactly take very well to slant it to slopes there, but hey, it's entertaining to watch as he just, like, goes jumping off at high speed, hits the ground, and immediately does another super jump, super long jump looking thing there. Anyway, I think we want to go. Oh, oh crap. Good thing I didn't do the dash boots like I was about to. Actually, you know what? Screw you, Mastodon. Ugh. 
Oh god, don't run me over, don't run me over. Ha ha ha! You suck. I mean, Billy, you do. Look at this money you draw. Ugh. Anyway. Woohoo! More doing this stuff. Yeah! Woo! Okay, uh... Nope, crap, I got my directions confused. I wanted to go the other way. I know there was another dungeon in this place. And we needed to make a special weapon. I don't remember if it's a good special weapon, but we're gonna make all the special weapons, damn it. Uh, let's see, so that means the only door I haven't been through is this one. And you're still there, you stupid laughing thief in a red dress Liverbot thing. Oh yeah, by the way. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, those aren't supposed to have money in them. I mean, I'm not that I'm complaining, money is always good to find, but still. Those aren't supposed to have money in them. Yeah, whatever. Whoa, no, giant elephant. Okay, well, I'm out of ammo for that. Guess what? We'll just, just do this the old fashioned. Ooh, hole in the wall. Hey! Ha ha! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah! Rock on! Okay, now to the actual treasure of this place. It's in a chest, it's an actual item. Get zooks! Yeah, Rusty Bazooka. You know, it's honestly amazing what Vol can build from basically trash. I mean, you basically walk into the place, give her a bunch of trash, and she says, Hey, I can build you a cool item. And you can kill stuff with it. I mean, that just kind of defies the laws of logic, in my opinion. But then again, what the desert did, 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 did. There's that old saying, one man's trash, another man's treasure. Whee! 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 Anyway, um, I think we're pretty much done here. I might go as far as to extra, uh, that's the extra one though, right, that's this one. Anyway, as to go and show what you make with the rusty bazooka, or, and you know what, I think I'll save that till next video. So, tune in next time where we get back to the story and go do some more stuff on that little city islandy thingy there. Awesome, huh? Well, anyway, folks, until then, later.